Let me start off with a very important question. 2023, just a few weeks away or a few days away, depending on when you see this. And probably if you see this in 2023, well, you're already in it. Or if you see this a little bit later, it's already gone past. But what's one of the most important cars that will be launched in 2023 in India? One of the most important SUVs to come to India. One of the cars that a lot of people, a lot of you have been looking forward to buying, to experiencing, to seeing in the metal. Well, my answer is this. I think it's going to be the new Maruti Suzuki Jimny. Yes, we're going to get that long-awaited Jimny in India sometime next year. Well, Auto Expo 2023 is what Maruti has hinted at. So that's going to be early January or well, mid-January, if you want to be looking at it precisely. And we're going to get that in, of course, a five-door version. Not the three-door that we've all seen and well, liked and loved and They've been making it in India, they've been exporting it from India, but sadly we don't have it in India yet. We're going to get a 5-door because Maruti thinks the 5-door is a better all-round package as compared to the 3-door. I think they might be mistaken. I think there's definitely a bit of a market for the 3-door Jimny as well, considering the fact that the 3-door Thar is doing rather particularly well in India. But what I thought we'd do is just take a bit of a quick look at what the Jimny will be like in terms of the stuff that we already know. And I want to do a bit of speculation on what I think the Jimny will be. Well, we'll talk about it later in the video. Let's talk about stuff that we already know first, right? Powertrains. Okay, so obviously the Jimny is not going to have a diesel because Maruti doesn't have a diesel engine on offer and it's not going to have some fancy hybrid setup either. What it's going to have, it's a simple K15 1.5 litre four cylinder engine that you get in the Brezza and you get in the Grand Vitara and you get it in the XL6 and you get it in the Ertiga and you get it in the Sears. A whole bunch of cars get that engine, right? And of course, you're going to get a manual gearbox option and you're going to get an automatic gearbox option and you're going to get all wheel drive. No, you're actually going to get four wheel drive. So the all wheel drive, the all grip system is what you get in the Grand Vitara. What this gets is the all grip Plus. And what the plus means is very simple. It has a low ratio gearbox. So you have a nice little clunky lever. You pull it in, you're in low ratio, you can go over some more growly stuff. Of course, a lot of people are going to use this off road. It's going to be like a little weekend toy for people. It's going to be a family car for people. It's going to be a car that a lot of people are going to use to say traverse over rough terrain or bad roads, stuff like that. I think it'll do it really, really well. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what else we sort of know in terms of the three door that will uh, carry forward to the five door. 210 mm of ground clearance is what the three door has, uh, according to the British website. I think we're going to get a little bit more ground clearance in India, probably because uh, 210 mm I don't think is enough. But then, of course, how it manages that 210 mm is the key factor. And well, knowing what the what Maruti Suzuki can do off road with all its historical learnings of the Gypsy. I think this is going to be quite a capable car. Now, I'm not going to share a lot of stuff with the Gypsy, obviously, because this is a completely different vehicle, even though the Gypsy was in production until not too long ago. But the one thing it sort of will share is that wheel size. It's a 15-inch wheel on a 195 ATR 15 tire. So it's not that big, huge tire that you're used to in the Thar, but it's a bit of a chunky boy because that 80 section sidewall is actually quite nice. So it'll be comfortable. I mean, judging from what the suspension setup on the Brezza and the Grand Vitara are, I think it's going to be extremely, extremely comfortable with that nice, big, lovely sidewall of a tire. Okay, so we've talked about what uh, we already know for the five-door Maruti Suzuki Jimny. And let's now talk about a bit of speculation. We've actually already done just a tad bit of speculation on the ground clearance. But let's talk about a little bit more of speculation in terms of the overall sizing of the car. Let's see if I get this right when the car actually comes out. I have a feeling I just might. Uh, let's talk about the three doors uh, dimensions first. Length. 3480 mm and in terms of length it's actually smaller than the wagon r is so it's not that big a car and in terms of width it's 1645 mm which actually is slightly wider than the wagon r but strangely it's narrower than the ignis the ignis is a car that all of us really really like it's a bit of a 
auto journalist's favorite that and a couple of other cars which didn't really do super well but all of us really really dig it okay digressing let's talk back about this wheelbase 2250mm on the three door and in comparison the ignis is 2435mm and the brezza which is quite spacious on the inside is 2500mm now i think that the wheelbase is where all the extra length obviously will be because the design in terms of the overall front and rear will not really change much so i think the added length or the added dimension of about say 500 or so is all going to be in that wheelbase and that's going to make it very interesting because if you add that 500 mm to that 3480 mm overall figure that makes it 3980 mm which is just under that four meter mark what do you think the departure and approach angles on this are going to be? I think it's still going to be very similar to the three dock. I don't think they want to take away a lot of that off-road capability, even though they extend it from the middle. So I think all that space, that half a meter of space, which is about see, this much, is all going to come in that middle row, which might mean that the door on the front, of course, is going to be slightly shorter, but you're going to get a slightly smaller rear door as compared to say a normal passenger car which might make it slightly weird to get in and out of and again i don't think there's going to be a lot of space in the back of this car either to put like big suitcases or just a lot of luggage i think this is going to be more suited to be like a four door four seat car of course indian people can fit a lot of people in it we know how to squeeze in but nonetheless i think it's going to be a bit of a cramped space on the inside because a three door car at the back is really really difficult to sort of live with so Couple of speculation bits. Um, of course, we've done about talked about the engine. We've talked about basic dimensions, and now let's talk about how it's going to be priced. Do you think it's going to be more expensive than the Brezza? The Brezza tops out at an absurd what 15, 16 lakhs on road Bombay. Do you think this is going straight for the Thad's jugular? Do you think this is going to be cheaper? Do you think it's going to be priced under the Brezza? Well, I don't think so because in terms of the hardware, this remember will have a proper hardcore four-wheel drive system the all grip plus which means it'll have more hardware in it which means it might be slightly more expensive than the brezza especially co considering the fact that this is going to be equally loaded in terms of all the features and all the gadgets that you really need but this is going to have stuff like the 360 degree parking camera is it going to have stuff like the heads up display i don't really think so it's going to be very interesting when they do launch it in india and that's something that we look forward to Tell us what you think in the comment section below. Do you like these sort of speculative videos? Do you want us to do more of them? Do you think we missed out on a couple of things? Do you think we got some things right or some things wrong? Tell us everything in the comment section below and we will see you very soon with the walk around of this. But of course, this thing gets showcased to the public. Thank you so much for watching. See you in a bit.